welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be trying out Alamar's Primero Primer. We're going to be reviewing it. If you guys didn't know, this runs for $15. And it's supposed to be water resistant. It's supposed to help the pigmentation of the eyeshadow really stick to our lids so we can get the maximum color payoff of that we can. And it's also supposed to be waterproof, which blows me away. It has shea butter in the formula as well, so it's supposed to be really hydrating all at the same time. And this is just supposed to be basically like glue. Once we apply the eyeshadow, it's supposed to just stick and obviously we're still able to blend out the eyeshadow today we're going to be testing this out i'm going to be showing you how this works and just see you know what i like what i didn't like i hope you guys enjoyed today's video as always please don't forget to like share and subscribe for more videos it's just like this one by the way this one's for 15 dollars so i do find it a little pricey i hope you guys enjoy let's jump on in and try this out also forgot to mention you guys that this is a cruelty free and it also is water resistant i'm not really sure if i already mentioned that to you guys so i just wanted to throw that out there but it does have like a beige kind of nude color tint to it that once you apply it on your lip I, at least for me i feel like it blends in with my you know foundation and everything like that i'm gonna go ahead and apply a small amount of this primer or i feel like it's a small amount of this primer on my brush this is a bh cosmetics brush that i've had a very long time i hardly ever use it but it's the only one that's clean right now so we're just gonna roll with this one but you guys so for today's video what i'm gonna do is on the right side of my lid i've already applied foundation but i have yet to set anything out on my eyelids so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with a bit of metal primer apply it on around the lid basically on the areas where I'm gonna apply eyeshadow and then I'm on the left side of my lid I'm gonna apply nothing I'm basically I've already applied foundation but I'm gonna set it out with my Mac studio fix powder and then I'm gonna go in applying the eyeshadow the traditional way that I would typically do it before using this primer and so we can do a side-by-side -side comparison of you know how it would look if you use a primer and how it would look not using the primer because it's supposed to make the eyeshadow look more vibrant more pigmented obviously that's more vibrant <laughs> and more long wearing and so it's supposed to obviously make the eyeshadow look a little bit better or better so you guys I'm gonna go ahead and finish getting ready finish doing my eyes and then I'll check in back with you so we can do a side-by-side -side comparison of both conditions clip of a side-by-side -side comparison of how the eyeshadow looks one side compared to the other on the right side of my face I applied the primero primer on my eyelid and on the left side of my face I just went in with applied my foundation set it out with my Mac studio fix powder face powder and then I went in applying the eyeshadow I will say that they both eyes look really vibrant the pigmentation granted I use really vibrant shades for today's eye look because I really wanted you guys to be able to see the difference between both but to be really honest I feel like the right side of my face looks slightly more pigmented it was easier to blend it was easier to apply color I didn't have to go in as many times into the eyeshadow palette trying to build color and I just really noticed a difference in it getting ready. I just felt like it was a little bit faster. As for the center of the lid where I applied a little bit of shimmer, you know, you guys saw me. I didn't use my finger. I just went in with a brush and applied the shimmery eyeshadow on the center of my lid. And I felt like it really gave, you know, that vibrancy, that shimmer. And it was really, really nice. On the left side of my eye, on the center of the lid, I applied the same eyeshadow trying to give it a little bit of that shimmer effect. And I didn't see it. I went in many, many times trying to, you know, make it look the same and it wasn't budging you guys. I honestly feel like if I would have used my finger, I probably could have got the same effect if not better, but I wanted to be fair game when doing my eyes for today. So I really wanted you guys to see the difference in how I was doing my makeup just so you can make your own judgment for yourself. But to be really honest, I personally really like using this primer. It definitely is really sticky. I do like the tint to it, but at the same time, I don't feel like it affects the process of me doing my eyeshadow. And it really is nice, you guys. It definitely has a long wear. Once you apply the eyeshadow all around your lid, 
it sets everything into place. I don't feel like my lid feels sticky or anything like that. There is a no scent to it that I can pick up at all, which I really like as well. I love that it's vegan or what is it, cruelty free. And I just really liked that it actually really is sticky, you guys. Even applying the sticky base primer on your lid, I would say move a little quickly because it can dry out and it really makes a difference when you apply the sticky base and go in and start working on your eyes. I would say if you are using this primer, you know, if you're going to start on the right eye to do your eyeshadow, apply it on, then go in and, you know, apply your eyeshadow, then apply the sticky base primer, the bitter metal primer on the other eye, and then move in it to do the eyeshadow. Just because I noticed if you apply the primer on both lids, but you're starting off doing the eyeshadow on one lid, one's going to dry out and it's just kind of getting a little bit messy. So that is the only Thing. with that I did notice that if I also like I mentioned you guys before I applied a foundation on my eyelids but I didn't set them out in the beginning if you guys go in and apply foundation on your lids but then you set them out with face powder but then you want to go in and apply the pre metal primer it's gonna be kind of messy at least in my experience so don't do that <laughs> if you're gonna apply foundation leave it don't set those areas on your lids just wait to apply the pre metal primer and then go from there also notice that if you don't really maybe apply Maybe if your eyelids are not as hydrated and moisturized as they could be, maybe you didn't apply any eye cream, your skin is kind of dry, I do notice that it does enhance a little bit of, you know, the texture in that area, so it starts looking a little, a little weird, but I don't feel like it's something that is really noticeable if someone is, like, standing right next to you looking at you. I feel like if you just look really closely, you'll notice those little, like, oh, it's doing that. Why is it doing that? And you'll just kind of learn from there. But so far, you guys, I really love this Beauty Metal Primer. It is really, really nice. I do like it. Comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are. Do you notice a difference, or is it just me? And what do you feel about $15? I feel like it's a little expensive, the price to it for the amount that you are receiving. But granted, I will throw a note in a clip of how much product I use when using this primer and I feel like I don't use it too too much but we'll see how long this takes me to you know go through but so far I really love it you guys I hope you enjoyed today's video as always please don't forget to like share and subscribe for more videos just like this one and I will see you guys all in my next video I forgot to mention that in my experience so far I've been using this pretty middle primer for about a month month and a half it definitely has prolonged the longevity of my eyeshadow it's kept it really vibrant really uh, blended really well it's just it's done such a really great job and I so far really love it so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys all in my next video. I love you guys so, so much. Bye!